Hey everyone, welcome back to another video. This one is about HTTP POST and this is, we're going to be using Angular. And so what we're going to do is first, and by the way this is going to be kind of uncut sort of deal, just, just to kind of experiment, see what you guys like better. Let me know in the comments if you like cut or uncut. So I found this service right here uh, from Postman, will, which will allow us to basically um, post data to this URL right here. And then in the response body, it'll basically like send us that data back. And so I just have a blank project right here with just an H1 and then a paragraph tag. And so if you don't have your own project, be sure to check out my video on getting set up in Angular. Um, but assuming you have your own project, we're gonna do the same thing we did in the HTTP Git tutorial, which is install the HTTP client. So in order to do that, I just go inside of my module file and then import the HTTP client like this, once again from Angular common HTTP, and then add it down here to the imports. Okay, and then once we do that, that'll kind of allow us to go inside of whatever component we want to use um, the, HTTP, the HTTP client module in, and then um, inject it into the constructor. So I'm going to make a constructor right here, and then inject uh, the dependency as a private variable um, so private HTTP and then it's going to be HTTP client so we'll grab this one from that same place angular common HTTP okay so now that we have the dependency injected um, all we gotta do to make this work is we just gotta um, first of all like declare some data that we want to post um, I guess we can do that. Uh, we could do it like inline. I'm just going to make a variable for it called like post data and then set it equal to be like um, test and then the value of test will be like my content or something like that. Okay, and then inside of the constructor, I'm just going to call this.http.post. All right, and then post takes in a bunch of parameters. Um, really, the only ones you need to pass in are um, going to be the URL. So we got to find that URL that we were just looking at, the one that we're going to test against. You can, like, if you're writing data to your own server, then of course that will be like whatever route you're writing to. Um, but this one is just for testing. Um, and so just going to go back and then put in. Actually, I'll make a variable for the URL as well. Um, so the URL to be like that same exact thing. Okay, and then, so we just post the data to that URL. That's the first parameter. And then the second parameter is gonna be the data. So that's the post data, um, this dot post data. And I don't believe we need to pass in um, any additional parameters, we'll see how mad it gets at us if we just pass in those two. And then I'm gonna call dot to promise to kind of uh, like post returns an observable. And so um, since we're only posting the data once, um, I'm not really sure why it returns an observable, but uh, to me it makes a lot more sense as a promise. So I'm gonna turn it into a promise and then call dot then so that we can um, grab the data from the request. So this data object represents like the response from the server. So first I'm just gonna console, uh, not confirm, console.log that data out, um, just so that we can see what kind of format it follows and then display it on our page. So just gonna save that and then the page will auto reload and we have an error. All right, so if you get this error, it's just saying that um, the request has been blocked by the CORS policy, and that just means that you can't make um, cross-origin uh, requests. Like I'm at HTTP for localhost, like this URL is HTTP colon slash slash localhost um, colon 4200. And so since my application is running on HTTP and the server says that it doesn't allow um, across origin requests, meaning from HTTP to HTTPS, then I'm actually not allowed to request that URL 
Um, I just need to find one that does the, does allow that or is just over HTTP instead. So I'm going to try and find one of those. Okay, so I found this thing on Stack Overflow saying that this URL will accept my post request. So let's go and try that out. Just go and paste in that URL right here. So it says that this one returns the post data as well. So that's exactly what we're looking for to test our HTTP post. Okay, so it looks like this time the error is gone. Down here in a field called JSON in the response object, it has my test content right there. So I'm just going to um, put that into a variable so that I can um, print it out to our HTML. So I'm just going to make a variable, we'll just call it uh, JSON. And this will refer to um, that JSON field inside of the data. So I'm going to say this.json is equal to data.json. Okay, so I'm simply just going to grab out, um, I'm actually going to make data of any type just so it doesn't give me errors. Um, so I'm going to grab that JSON field and then put it inside of my JSON variable right here. And then save that. And then over here in the HTML, I'm just going to make um, probably probably just like a pre-tag. Pre-tags are kind of nice for formatting just data. Um, so in here, I can just uh, simply display the JSON. All right, and with any luck, that will work. OK, so right now it is showing it as just an object. I guess that makes sense. OK, and so in here, I'm just going to, um, instead of saying directly set the JSON equal to that JSON object, I'm just going to say json.stringify. And this is just kind of how you turn JSON data into a pretty string. Um, and I'm just doing this to kind of display it on the screen and make it look nice. So here we go. Here's the data. If you wanted to, you can like extract any data, um, pull any variables out if you wanted to. Like, uh, like if we console.log data dot json um, dot test, then that will just log out my content. So there we go, right there. So you can just extract whatever data you want to do, whatever you want. I'm just stringifying it putting it into a variable called JSON and then um, putting it into a pre-tag right here. And if you guys aren't familiar with pre-tag, it's just kind of a nice way of formatting things um, so that the new lines are handled properly. Like it will, if there's a new line in the, the content, then it will like uh, put it onto a, a different line, but this one doesn't have any. Anyways, guys, let me know what you thought of this format, kind of less cut. Um, more me kind of stumbling around and running into errors. Let me know if you guys like that sort of format. Um, it's definitely longer, but you probably learn more. Um, so let me know what you guys thought in the comments. I love to hear your thoughts. Um, leave a like if you liked the video. Subscribe if you haven't already. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Take care.